euh, existent-il différentes formes de Crohn, de maladie de Crohn So, and actually, most people who actually understand the science behind the disease don't think it's one disease anymore. We think it's many different diseases under the same umbrella, uh, and probably only when we be able to, co to combine the The underst our understanding of the bacteria and the genes and the immune system will be able to divide into subforms. But right now, Crohn's disease is an umbrella for all the diseases that manifest in the same way. Um, so if it occurs under the age of a year or two years of age, um, there are many disorders that aren't Crohn's disease that are called Crohn's disease or mimic Crohn's disease. And we actually think those are uh, primarily immune deficiencies that are genetic. And one of the manifestations would be a Crohn's-like disease. So you'd see the same symptoms and same findings, but it's not really Crohn's. So we'd probably be talking more about children over the age of two. Then there, it depends on the uh, area that you develop it. So uh, in adults and many older children, you'll get it in the small intestine, and that's called uh, ileitis, or um, that would be your typical Crohn's disease manifestation. But there are many people who will get a disease that involves only the colon, and it looks like it's cousin, so there's a cousin for Crohn's disease called ulcerative colitis. It's one of the two manifestations of inflammatory bowel disease. And we realize that there's, in between these two disorders, there are a lot of different disorders that are not, neither ulcerative colitis or, not, or, or Crohn's. There's some sort of hybrid disease, and it doesn't have a name. We call it IBD unclassified right now. And many times people just call it Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, but it might be something in between. It doesn't really matter because for the most part, the treatment is the same. It's important to diagnose that you do have either Crohn's or ulcerative colitis because that will lead to treatment. And it's very important to treat early and properly because this, these diseases have a lot of consequences and especially Crohn's disease have a lot of complications. And we think that many of the complications are due to under treatment over a prolonged period of time. And we, you can only regret that you didn't prevent a complication about 50% of people who develop Crohn's disease will require surgery within the first 10 years of the disease. And many of those will require a second surgery. And most of those surgeries will be uh, having to remove part of your intestine that is either strictured, which becomes so narrow that there's no passage of food through that, and that causes severe pain or bowel obstruction, or because there's been a leak. So this, the intestine, when it's very strictured, is under pressure and it can spring leaks, and then your stool goes into your abdominal cavity, that's unpleasant and it'll manifest as an abscess or, or like an appendicitis-like type of picture. And sometimes it'll, and it's not just sometimes, it's about 20% of patients will develop disease in their anus, which is unpleasant. And that'll manifest as dripping of fecal content uh, through the anus that's inadvertent or abscesses or bleeding. And that will often require surgery as well.